Up for sale, 1963 Buick LeSabre. I'm gonna walk around and tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, a 63 Buick LeSabre, two-door hard top, finished in white with blue interior. I just, I, I have a lot of great information on this car. Uh, as always, I got notes on it too, just to, just to tell you about the quality information that I have. Of course, you know, go around it, point out what I see, fire it up, show it drive, and then get in for the driving, show you how smooth it does drive. And of course, starting here in the front. Uh, lifelong Pennsylvania car, which is cool because I like Pennsylvania titles. It always shows the first date titled NPA, which according to my notes, was 6-11-1963. Like I said, three-owner car. Uh, just out of previous 18-year ownership, we'll start around the front bumper. Uh, the chrome trim glass, I mean, look at this bumper. Look how this is like absolutely stunning. Um, the same thing with the trim and the grill and all that. I mean, this, this that is so impressive. Uh, the second owner purchased it in 1996 from the original owner. And uh, the odometer just shows just under 26,000 miles on it, uh, which I unfortunately don't have documentation for, but I'm going to tell you why it makes sense. Uh, one lacquer repaint done in 1998. And I mean, when you look at it, it's got a nice little shine. The body's solid. Uh, you, you wouldn't believe how nice the underneath is on this. But again, going out of order here. A couple little bubbles here on the hood, which are the only place you will really find anything like that. I thought about painting the hood, but it goes with it. It's, it's, it's original. It's a cream puff. I mean, even the letters and the, the trim on here, that's, that's mint. But anyway, I like to pop the hood open real quick here. And then there's a secondary somewhere. Or am I wrong? No, just the one. Okay, it's got its original 401 nail head in it. And again, look how original this is in here. Couple couple notes here. Bear with me. It was built during the fourth week of May. I'm gonna switch papers here. Read this. Engine and body are matching, of course. The Rochester carb is dated E3, May 1963. I gotta tell you something cool about that. I have the proper date code for the alternator. This is again with the mileage. The windshield PPG date code is April 1963. All the windows, side windows, all for the same, dated April 26, 1963. The seat belts are dated May 1963. The power brake booster is dated, I just moved this, uh, 1965. Uh, okay, obviously replaced. I have what I believe is the original master cylinder as well, because they replaced it. Um, you can see the little tag on there too, if you make that out. Uh, all the hardware, fasteners, clips are all matching and GM correct. And you can see, you know, examples like, like right here, stuff like that. Uh, all the wiring terminal stuff like that is all original. There's no wire spliced in. There's no, you know what I mean? Uh, no cut splice to replace wiring. Okay. Uh, headlights are original T3 headlights. And again, just by, you know, looking at the condition of the glass, too. I mean, there's like, this is this is a gorgeous windshield uh, not being peppered over years. As well as the Trico, or Trico, depending on how you pronounce it, windshield arms. Anyway, I'd like to take this time, fold this up. Tell you one, it drives beautiful, smooth as silk. A very interesting thing here. I'd like to take this off for the first time ever in a video. Andrew, it's got a four barrel on there. Why, yes. With the tag, is believed to be dealer installed four barrel, which is very interesting. Again, let me switch to my next paper here. Uh, of course, the JR denotes it's a high compression, 10 to 25 to one, two barrel car. And uh, it has all the signs of a factory or dealer installed four barrel from the linkage being set up properly using proper hardware of course to the tag on the carburetor which is uh oh gosh i just too much i i got too much information here too much information but without a doubt believed to be a four barrel swap you know dealer installed by the first guy very very interesting because again 
two barrel cars. Anyway, I just, I took a picture of that. That'll be, a, you know, on the ad. Um, look at the firewall, completely original, clean, inner fender walls, glass bottle. Got the factory exhaust manifolds on there too. I mean, I'm spending a lot of time here because personally, I'm very excited about this car. Let me stick this back on here. Nice and easy. Uh, in addition, if I could do this, <laughs> there we go. In addition, uh, the interior is original, dash, gauges, headliners, all the seats, carpet. It's got the original front floor mats in it. Power steering, power brakes. And uh, he made a comment that he tore apart the front drums doing some brake work and they were aluminum. And he couldn't believe how nice and clean the inside was, you know, showing that light usage uses normally the aluminum would corrode over time, which absolutely makes sense. See a couple little marks here. But the body is straight. The fitment of all the panels. This is exactly how you want to see it. Personally, I have a 62 Buick Electra for myself. And if I was in the market for another car, I would not sell this because this would just look amazing next to it. And uh, hard to come by these early 60s Buicks, let's be honest. Um, and that sticker, 06. I don't even know what that is, but I left it. Probably been there for a very long time. And again, look at the, look at the trim here. Look at the mirror. Look at the uh, your little molding stuff like that. hubcaps and just by looking at it it doesn't look like any pieces of trim are missing I might as well show you the back bumper real quick just because it's amazing like the front oh my gosh it's got the power trunk just like my 62 does anyway starting over here door jam painted nicely the hem is nice there's your original door panel there which again very impressive uh, cleanliness your VIN is there there's your original bench seat so again original a couple little you know light things but again how old is this car 63 it's 60 years old we all break down over time oh, I forgot to close that I put everything in the trunk. We got some parts to go over too. Look at that. Look at the condition. The stainless is beautiful. All the knobs are there. I had the left vent out for some reason. These have been replaced. I actually have the original ones. <laughs> Just to give you an idea. It, it shows that light wear. He must have been a... The original owner must have been a two-pedal driver because all the wear is on the left side. Headliner is mint. Sail panels look nice as well. The back seat, with the exception of the top from, uh, looks like uh, sun damage, is nice, as well as the door panels there. Uh, it's a little hard to show you the, what I'm talking about on the seat, so I'll show you through the back window. Uh, but the carpet's original, clean, no rips. A little faded it's all there and that's what i'm talking about there a little bit of tear you know he had tape over it i thought it was more honest to just show it for what it is so i took the tape off but this is nice here no bubbling a couple you know again little marks here and there it is lacquer paint like i said but the trim is nice top is nice and i did not buff this i didn't want to because it's just you know it's only uh sort of an original way once trunk lid fitment is exactly how you want it to be it's a little mark right there there and just look at this this lower corner is fantastic there's no bubbles on there and i already know there's nothing there I'm just going to 
rather than dig through the keys, I'll show you that the power trunk works. Let me see this real quick. The original floor mat, stuff like that, cardboard in here, jack, spare, that little guy. Got some nice booklets for you, advertisement, stuff like that. And then two folders of paperwork, which are not the most important, but that's an 03 with uh, 22,000 miles on there. Registration card, stuff like that. Right, more insurance cards. 12, 22,005. And I like some of these old receipts. 01. Little things here. Miscellaneous old stuff. Just all stuff that goes with it. Actually, oh, I thought that was a copy of the title. A map of Pennsylvania in case you get lost. <laughs> uh, this is an old registration, 97. So that goes there. And then this is... Again, it's all, it's all out of order, but miscellaneous receipts, stuff like that. This is more uh, production-related notes, some literature like that. That's an NOS parts report. Send, uh, this and that. Nothing too much stuff related to Hemmings. And a couple more old receipts. Just close that down. And... Uh, like I said, the original parking brake, you can see a little bit of the wear on the left side. And not parking brake, power brake, and then it's not that, but this is the original e-brake. I this on E-brake, park brake one. I don't know what that is, but that's included. Looks like it might be the original master cylinder. And some other, you know, a little, couple miscellaneous things in here. Just good to have. And some parts are hard to find, of course. Anyway. Carrying on. So we'll show you this here. I want to refocus. A couple little touch-up right there. No bubbles there. But you see like a couple of miscellaneous, you know, marks on it. It's common, but this got the little molding there protecting door edge stuff. And again, look at the, the stainless and the glass. It's an old Buick sticker in the window. Is that marking? Same thing here, a little seam. Maybe a hem uh, sewer could bring those two together if you'd like. But the backs look good. A little mark there. Again, look at that fitment. on that edge trim tag but uh yeah well we are going to fire it up now drive it and then hop in thank you okay Super smooth.
Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it. Does this have the trunk pull? Yes, it does. Oh, I love that. Ta da. I read the air I had that. My dues has that. This is quick. I'm keeping it. This is quick. I'm, keep, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> this is very quick. And it's gonna go right into my building. This is quicker and than into the, my uh, name. And the Marauder. I would hope so. Oh, what am I doing? I know, what are you doing? <laughs> what? You mean the four speed car? The 390 four speed? This is quicker. I know it is. It's a torque monster. What? It's a torque monster. You know Buicks are known for their, their torque. I was reading about the transmission. I'm pretty sure it's the same one that's in my 225. Go that way. Yeah. Um, to really unleash it, you start in low. And then you get the fan. <laughs> wow. That'll really burn rubber. No, but you start in low to just get this it, and then you go in the drive. This is Hot Rod Lincoln. This is a Hot Rod Buick. Hot Rod Buick. Watch the road, bro. Watch the road, bro. Mom says I get a two-car, maybe a three-car trailer. Oh yeah, she told me get a three car. I said for what? I said, are you gonna load it? <laughs> three car, you need a semi to pull it. I know. Wow. No, I think it speaks for itself. Yeah. It's, it's as smooth as silk. It drives beautifully. Good old lacquer paint. There's a line of people looking to watch the Buick go by. I didn't want to. We'll take two cars. Wow. <laughs> Let's go back to the seat.